Morgan Lucas and Doug Herbert. There's Doug. He's having a great weekend. He sits fifth right now in only his second race of the season. And we caught up with Don Schumacher, asked him about the rivalry at Indy. Really, the adversarial situation between John Force and Tony Petragon, I think it was great and great for the sport, and Cruz getting involved in it is great, and me getting involved in it is fine, and my name and John's. But John touching an official is really objectionable. That shouldn't ever happen, and I think in any other professional sport, there'd really be drastic consequences with that, and that shouldn't happen. Yeah, well, and you and I both said, you know, the minute he touched the official, that was a problem. Lucas, quickest run of the session, and he stays, though, with that run eighth. Herbert stays fifth. Dead, Forrest Lucas by the side. Well, Morgan Lucas just keeps making nice runs. He's got a shot at uh, getting the full throttle championship if he keeps running consistent. Good driver, pretty steady on there. And uh, Jimmy Walsh seems to be doing a pretty good, no, it doesn't seem to be, he has been doing a really good job of getting this car much more consistent the last four or five races, including that win they picked up in Brainerd. 200 and almost almost 275 miles per hour at the eight, 311 miles per hour at the finish. Nice pass by the Geico Dragster. Yeah, look back at the start line. That's Aaron Crocker, Ray, Hever and Ray Everingham's wife, who's helping uh, Doug Herbert with his uh, world record car. Well, look at that. Oh, love that fumes, huh? Isn't that pleasant? <laughs> Why do they do this? Why do they stand out here all day? 